Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I'm here in beautiful Tampa Bay right now to collect some seawater for our project. We're going to try and uh, desalinate this water and this is the first step. Here to capture some, it's about five gallons. This is called a Cornelius keg. It's used in the soda industry, but we're going to be using this as one of our boilers to distill this water. back and we've got everything set up. We've got two Fresnel lenses, a whole bunch of mirrors. We're going to try to get this five gallons of water to boil. This is how I normally dress when I do my research out in the sun. I have a uh, long clothing on. It doesn't look real attractive, but it protects me from the sunlight. I'm not so much worried about the sun from the Fresnel lenses and the mirrors as I am from the sun itself. So I'm going to show you everything that we have set up to try to get five gallons of water to boil. And, um, We'll see what happens. We're going to see if we can distill the salt water that we just picked up. Why do we need so much power with all the mirrors and Fresnel lenses? Well, we are boiling five gallons of liquid. Ask any home brewing enthusiast who tries to boil wort on their electric range, and they will tell you that it is very difficult or virtually impossible to do. Five gallons of water requires upwards of 55,000 BTUs to boil in an hour, and it almost always requires a propane burner to accomplish this task. Add to the fact that we are outside in a breeze and condensing steam. You can see why we need so much energy. One gallon of water would be easy. Five gallons requires almost 25 times as much energy. We've got this Fresnel lens going here. This one bouncing off of a mirror to the other side. We have a homemade parabolic mirror that we've done. We've got a small mirror, another mirror. And we also have these uh, four mirrors. So it's pretty bright over there. Since we don't have heliostats for all of these mirrors, I'm going to be like a human heliostat and I'm going to be readjusting everything. I'm going to get a temperature measurement. We've been running for 15 minutes right now. Right now the water inside is about 126 degrees. So it went from about 70 degrees to 126 degrees in about 15 minutes. Now that's the easy part. Once you start getting above that temperature, the heat leaches out into the atmosphere. So this is going to be a real challenge to boil this much water. While we're waiting for things, I'm going to show you some of the components. We've got this large mirror that's going through this Fresnel lens and it's putting that big spot on the side. We have this homemade parabolic uh, mirror made out of plexiglass. It didn't work out really well, but it does a pretty good job. You can see the spot that it produces. I'm going to readjust that a little bit. There we go. That's a good one. This is another one that we stopped early because it was starting to warp. This is a pretty interesting mirror. It's a high quality beauty mirror, the kind you get at Brookstone, and that's the spot that it's producing there. Everything else is from the set of mirrors that we have everywhere. We dragged out every mirror that we have, broken ones, it didn't matter. We've got them on our heavy duty mirror stands or art easels, whatever you want to call them. And we're focused in on the tank, so we're going to see how long it takes. Hopefully we can get some good steam out of there and bring it down here. This Cornelius keg has a long stem on it. And what happens is that's where the syrup was initially. These are were our soda kegs. And uh, you can get these off of eBay. The, the, we want the water to boil and go to the bottom, the steam to go to the bottom and condense like we did in our previous experiment. We've got a copper tube set up and we're gonna see what happens. While we're waiting for this, we can go ahead and uh, test some of the different elements and see how they're affecting this. This is the big Fresnel lens with water behind it. You can see that the area there is... It's got a high spot of about... Well, 200... Let's see if we can get a better reading. It's reached a peak of around 220 degrees right there. Over here we've got our two mirrors. They've got a hot spot going of 144 degrees. 
The regular mirrors have a hot spot of 129 degrees. We're gonna see what our, this is the Fresnel lens through the mirror. It's 152 degrees. And the parabolic homemade mirror is 136 degrees. So considering that there's water behind there, those temperatures are actually a lot hotter than that, but the water's absorbing the heat. So, okay, what we've done is we've changed our approach to this project a little bit. This Fresnel lens, because the sun is practically right over top of us, is not getting a nice side fill on this. So, taking all of these mirrors and we've arrayed them together to go through the Fresnel lens. So you have four spots right there on this side that are, uh, I just took a temperature reading, they're 250 degrees. So instead of what we had before, barely 200 degrees because the lens was catching it at an angle, now we're right on target with that. Everything else is still the same. We've made some readjustments. It is ridiculously hot outside. Okay, we've got, uh, we're still making adjustments. The, the sun being overhead has not been very helpful. We've got a thermometer. We're gonna see how hot the water is inside of there. Right now we're at 147 degrees, so we're... All right, we've readjusted this for now, lens. The sun's actually starting to go into the slowly setting position. We have had, I've moved these mirrors back, so that way they're on the back side of this. And this Fresnel lens has actually got a nice spot going. So now we have two good spots on there. Now we should start getting some good heat, I hope. It is a perfect day. There is absolutely not a single cloud in the sky. So if we don't get this to work well, then it's obviously something we're doing wrong. It's not, can't blame the clouds today. This is what's left of my new thermometer. I uh, left it right where the Fresnel lens was. So it actually was just on the outside fringes of the Fresnel lens. There's $12 down the tubes. Now we've got something going. You can hear, uh, can hear what sounds like water starting to boil. Let's see what happens. Okay, we've got about an hour, roughly an hour into this right now of good solid sunlight. All right, I'm gonna show you how rapidly our project's changed. We've got, uh, got this spot here and it is measuring 400, wow, 400 and over 500 degrees on the surface. So that's great for considering that there's water behind there. The rest of the container is currently 100 and 172 degrees on the hot spot. So that means that the water inside's probably up to 130, 172 degrees. Since my water thermometer is now melted, I can't be using that. We're gonna get a general reading of the overall tank from a distance. The average is 161. And then we're coming over to the mirrored Fresnel. And that's 217, 206. It's 217 degrees in that spot. To give you an idea of how hot uh, the spot is on here, I just registered temperatures with water behind it at 450 degrees. Now, that doesn't mean the water inside's that hot, but this is what's hitting the side of this tank. I actually had to, I have an SPF of like 30 on right now, but my face is still getting zapped. So temperature right now inside of there is 195 degrees. Once we get all the adjustments down, we should be able to do this in about an hour. It shouldn't really take that long, but well, see what happens.